Hello friends, welcome back to I Made Me Think. Welcome to this video series tutorial for end-to-end -end website testing using Selenium, Behave, BDD, and Python. And in this another video, we will see uh, Selenium basic and advanced feature utilization. So in my earlier videos, as I mentioned in the comment section, uh, element location, window, frame, pop-up handling, mouse drag and drop is the, ex the examples for this are already explained and the source code was already in, uh, uh, is already in the github so we will see page object model uh, two layer simple automation design and result reporting in this video so <coughs> this is the feature file which i'm going to use this is the step definition the step definition here and the step implementation so what happens is when we have when we design a step and then we do a step definition so normally the step definition code is not single line it 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 will be minimum say 50 lines or whatever so considering that we cannot have that in one file so in order to in order to have a good coding practice so what i have designed here is i have taken one variable called handle which is is in this class uh, here uh, handle and I have uh, uh, individual page object uh, methods uh, page object related classes imported here so from page object I am importing relevant methods and then I am just creating an object for this particular class and I am just using that it here so what happens is when the behave uh, when we invoke this project, when we run this project, it will give control to this feature files and then feature file will, will pass control to the step definition uh, here and in the step definition for a simple and cleaner code, uh, I am just calling one method which is part of step implementation file and here I am calling again uh, individual page object related method so which is a cleaner structure and easy to understand coding practice so page object model we will let's see a page object model two layer simple automation design is what i have just explained so let us see page object model so now if you see here in the steps folder i have some classes uh, page object so let's see home page and first let us see the import so I need to install page underscore objects so just go and google how to install page objects so pip install page objects you need to just install and <coughs> just import page object and page element and so home page so we need to have so what is page object so page object is uh, simply mapping a class to a page so we have seen in the example that in this example that every everything is a different page we have to consider so home page so this is a home page so home for home page uh, i have considered as uh, one page uh, about us is another page services products or admin page or registration so everything i have considered as different page and in page object class we need to use page object so if page object and page element so this particular class which is my individual page will be importing page object class from page underscore objects module which i need to install separately and from this i can start using the page element so if you see these are the individual web elements i can use using page element and with say id css name xpath and so on so these are the four variables i am using here and these are the methods individual methods I, which i'll be utilizing for my individual purpose so these are the individual methods so for example method uh, home page login home page navigate to about us and so on so for example about us page so again i need to use page object page element and then some other so web driver wait expected conditions some of the other imports 
and uh, here I am just uh, inheriting page object class which I can use it for my own individual page and use page element uh, uh, method to have individual elements on about us page and start using those elements and use individual methods or specific methods to perform individual operation. So on about us page I am doing verify specific message. If I click something I want to just verify that that message is expected or not. Uh, on this about us page I am going to navigate to admin. So individual methods I have. Similarly <coughs> admin page, registration page and so on. So you can have your own uh, many as many uh, page object classes and just start using it. So first thing is the control will come to step definition and here I am using a handle which is implemented here. So control will pass to handle and then in handle uh, for each step I have defined a method, a very simple method which will do the intended operation. So the project structure is very simple and easy to understand. So first thing is perform initial setup. So obviously I need to inst I need to invoke a Chrome browser and use that object of Chrome driver pass it on to different page objects. So I am creating a web driver Chrome executable path. So I am using this Chrome driver exe here. I have put it in my local and so I am using the same object uh, Chrome object throughout. Uh, so initially you need to do some setup maximize window and uh, invoke a chrome driver and so perform some operation on home page so here is the thing so <coughs> you need to create a page object class object object of this page object class here and just call individual methods and pass on the web driver and individual parameters. So this is a very simple and easy to uh, maintain coding uh, for page object model in Python BDD and easy to maintain. So if you see this Chrome web driver is, uh, is always uh, uh, the, the first instance here, I mean the first uh, value in this list. So similarly home page, similarly you can do some operation on about us page, similarly you can do some operation on admin page or registration page. So you can do for example on registration page, so I am just invoking uh, again an registration page object, registration page and I am just calling the method and I am just passing the Chrome driver. So this coding uh, two stage coding structure is very simple to maintain very simple to understand and very simple to use going forward and then in final verification I am just checking that whatever steps I have done uh, the individual step is pass or fail. So let us see um, typical examples so on registration page. So here I am so whenever you uh, want to send some text to a page to a to an element say text box element so this is a text box text box first name so on a registration page I am doing a registration first name and submit form and last name and so on so if I want to send text so there is no method like uh, page element dot send text so just you have to assign the variable the the text to this variable and it will just send the text so similarly you have other click and web driver weight implementation is like this so in the web driver weight you have to specify uh, web driver the delay and until an expected condition uh, of your choice so for now I am just using visibility of particular element is there or not if it is there proceed if not then again wait until it is visible so you can see uh, in my github repository the individual source code uh, or uh, up to your interest and modify it as per your requirement. So 
result reporting in HTML format we will see. So, it is a GitHub based source code and with non protective FOSS license. Uh, BGT is using behave. Yeah, so, automation implementation workflows, so feature file, python code, selenium code and test result report. reporting we will see. So, if you see this runner file here, in as I explained in my earlier videos for reporting in nice HTML format we need to install uh, this module JSON to HTML and Allure module. So, pass this how to use uh, Allure module I have explained in my earlier video series and when you run this program here and when it generates the JSON so just pass the JSON all the JSON and put it in as final JSON and then JSON to HTML you convert and you will see the final report will be generated in index.html it will be in this folder. So, as of now I am just deleting this folder and when the program runs again we will see that the reporting folder will be generated again here and in that you will have one in the index.html file where you will find a nice reporting. So, let us run this program once. Now, the program is very simple as I explained. So, it will do certain operations. So, it will go to home page and then it will do some operation. It will go to about us page, do some operation, services page, do some operation, registration or login. So, the different things it will be doing. So, that is using Python, BGT and page object model. So, it has opened a browser, it has done some login, then click on about us, uh, administration page, uh, registration and that is all. So, ok, one feature passed, zero failed, zero skipped, ok. So, this is how uh, you can implement the page object model uh, and a full fledged this is kind of a full fledged framework for day to day use with with many features like uh, page object model reporting in html format uh, command line parameter argument passing uh, in this uh, feature files folder i have many feature files for individual project wise or individual domain wise so quick expansion for new website. So, quickly scale this algorithm for new website in some category. Uh, behave BGD approach is a big advantage. Page objects, web driver settings are just handy. We can quickly expand this for say for example, you want to go for uh, uh, instead of Chrome, you can go for Firefox or multi browser you can support, you can tweak it a little. Uh, just create new page objects and look at elements and that is all. I mean the, the basic structure is ready. Uh, some utilities are handy uh, here. So, it is a ready made framework for you just start using it. So, that is all uh, for this video series. Let us continue in another video series with some another exciting topic. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share my YouTube channel.